It's time to relive some of the greatest games of all time, but with a fresh coat of paint and updated mechanics. From beloved classics to cult favorites, these are the top 10 games that need a reboot. Starting off the list is Power Stone, a neglected franchise that was Smash before Smash. Don't come at me, Smash fans! Sega's flagship party fighter was about two things, beating your opponents up and looking hella cool doing it. Like Bloody Roar, you could power up and change form, getting new attacks and specials. It was more fun than a Warzone match against your veteran grandpa, but out of all the Capcom's prestigious collection of great titles, Power Stone has been dormant for generations, with only a couple of ports to the PlayStation 2 and PSP. Here's hoping there's still life in this ultra-fun brawler. If Dragon's Dogma can get a sequel after a 10-plus year hiatus, something as well-known and cherished as Power Stone has to have a chance, right? Come on, it's Power Stone! Next on the list is Time Splitters. Ask anyone who had a PS2 back in the day and they'll tell you Time Splitters was one of the must-have titles. A spiritual successor to Goldeneye and Perfect Dark, the zany first-person shooter took place in a variety of locations and time periods, making it something completely original, while still totally badass. There was even a full-on map editor, something that was pretty ahead of its time. Two sequels were made all within the PlayStation 2's lifetime, but sadly, nothing has come out since. There was even an attempt to revitalize the series, but ended up falling through before an HD collection of the old games could even get pushed out. The last word on the series is coming back with the original creators heading the project, so hopefully this is one of the first on the list that actually comes true. Seeing how popular esports are these days with the Rocket Leagues and the Valorians, it's almost criminal the world-famous competitions haven't revived one of the best hardcore shooters ever to hit a computer, Unreal Tournament. Taking Twitch shooting to the maximum, it was an adrenaline rush of non-stop moving, jumping, and blasting. No reloads here, folks. All you had to worry about was going for headshots while keeping your own attached to your shoulders at all times. Good luck! While other games from Epic, like Gears, have become hit or miss, playing a match or 20 of Unreal Tournament 1, 2, or 3 never gets old. And after the wave of excellent reboots that have come out lately, a new Unreal Tournament would definitely be icing on the cake. And that's why it takes the number 8 spot. Next on the list is Legacy of Kane. It's been way too long since fans have seen a pulse from the iconic vampire games. The mature series follows two anti-heroes, Kane and Raziel, as they travel through time and into hell to restore their city that they doomed. While its gameplay is dated and clunky, its rich, dark lore and fascinating characters should have kept the series alive. But we haven't seen anything since 2003 Defiance. That may seem like a long time, but it's probably just like a quick nap to vampires. There were plans to make a sixth installment titled Dead Sun, but was unfortunately cancelled in 2012 after three years of development, where it was picked apart and its pieces used to make the failed MMO Noshkoth. We don't want an MMO, just reboot the original story for new fans! And don't skip on the loud industrial rave metal. Next is Parasite Eve. NYPD rookie Aya Bree and her total normal for a cop escapades used to be all the rage, but there literally hasn't been a peep out of her since the third birthday on the PSP. With its experimental mix of real-time and turn-based gameplay and sci-fi horror plot, it's one of the most original and exciting games of its time. Both Parasite Eve 1 and 2 were well-received and sold millions, but apparently that just isn't good enough anymore these days. We would love to see a modern-day take on a city ravaged by cellular phenomenon. In a world full of live service titles and third-person open-world samesies, there's really nothing else like Parasite Eve, and that's why it comes in at number 6. Mortal Kombat may still be going strong after 30 years of over-the-top fatalities, but no other entry to the series has had fans demanding a reboot than Shaolin Monks. The co-op beat em up took Liu Kang and Kung Lao on a bloody, unforgettable journey and pitted them against some of MK's biggest baddies. Since that time on the PS2, Shaolin Monks has gone on to become a cult hit, and Mortal Kombat's roster has grown significantly. But the focus has been on creating highly realistic cinematic story modes, with the awesome characters like the ninjas, Takeda, and Kenshi, who are just begging for their own game, there's some serious potential for another great two-player combat experience to be had in Outworld and beyond. Are you okay? 
Resident Evil might be getting the spotlight right now, but there's a huge library of Capcom published games that deserve to see the light of day again, and Dino Crisis just might be the biggest. It's like Resident Evil, but with dinosaurs. Probably because they're both made by the same guy. Man, he must really like being chased. Taking place on an island where dinosaurs have broken out of containment, stop us when this sounds familiar, it's up to the player to uncover the secrets behind the catastrophe. And of course, shoot lots and lots of dinosaurs. What more could you ask for? Oh yeah, a reboot. And no tank controls. Remember those? Dino Crisis was another successful IP for Capcom, going on to sell over 4 million copies worldwide. We say it's time to unleash the dinos once more for a new generation. Number three on our list goes to Bully. The forgotten Rockstar classic lets players take the role of the new kid in school, but instead of getting anxiety over missing classes or getting asked to the prom, you get to be the king of the hallways. That is, if you can get past the hall monitors. Bully offered the same kind of freedom as games like Grand Theft Auto, but the unique setting and story made for a completely different game that still felt as rich and rewarding as its open world counterpart. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. Life, my parents, this school, Western civilization. Bully became a classic and a potential sequel was rumored more than a couple of times, but nothing ever came to light on this ultimate bully simulator. Enough time has passed where we want a full on next gen reboot with a bigger school, more classes and more bullying. Be glad I didn't put you I'm in upside so down. down. Our runner-up is Final Fantasy IX, one of the last classic-style Final Fantasies released on the PlayStation. It was a culmination of past Final Fantasies, creating something that felt way bigger than the hardware at the time allowed. The multi-disc adventure takes Zidane and his crew from the streets to some of the most Final Fantasy-looking places you could imagine as they fight to save the universe. Final Fantasy IX is still one of the most talked about and charming titles in the franchise. Can you blame them? It introduced us to Vivi, and that's reason enough to spend hours trying to become the best Tetra Master Player. With the upcoming Final Fantasy IX anime on the way, there's already rumors swirling around about a potential reboot, but until something is confirmed, we're holding out hope and keeping it on the list. And the number one reboot we want to see goes to The Legend of Dragoon. The PlayStation 1 was king of original, epic games that either saw barely any sequels or none at all. And in that regard, The Legend of Dragoon is king of the hill, even being hailed as the PlayStation's most underrated RPG. And they're right! From start to finish, the fantasy RPG captivated fans with its unique gameplay and the awesome ability to use dragon powers, becoming much more than the other games that inspired it. Spanning four discs, it was packed to the brim with intrigue, drama, and action. But despite how it reviewed when it came out, The Legend of Dragoon has gone on to become a huge cult hit and one of the PlayStation's most beloved RPGs. It's not too late to revive the series and bring back Dart and friends, or even a whole new cast, to keep The Legend of Dragoon alive. And that's our list of the top reboots we'd like to see. Let us know your thoughts and be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to stay up to date with future videos. Thanks for watching.